In this video, I'm going to show you how to add image scroll in Elementor. You may want to add image scroll to your website if you want to display some kind of gallery or portfolio. So if you want to add portfolio onto your website, this particular feature may come in handy. Upon adding image scroll to our website, this is the exact same result we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sadiq here at Tiku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to add image code to our website, we need to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for premium add-ons. I have premium add-ons for Elementor here. This plugin will add extra widgets to the Elementor page builder. I go ahead and install. It is installed. I activate. Now plugin is installed and activated successfully. The next thing I do is go to the page where I want to add my image scroll. And I'm going to go ahead and add it on the home page. So I just click on the name of my website right here. I edit it with Elementor. And I scroll down to the location where I want to add my scroll image. In here, I'm going to go ahead and insert a new column. Now choose three column structure. Next, I go over to widgets. Then I search for image scroll. I have premium image scroll right here. I drag it and drop it in here. Then I go ahead and choose my image from here. I already have some images uploaded to my website. I choose this one. Then I insert media. Upon hovering on it, you see that it will scroll from top to bottom. Perfect. In here, you can go ahead and choose the image size. I leave it as full for now. The height, you can also set it as you wish. I'll make it 400. Perfect. You can add a link to your image by enabling this. You can decide to choose a URL from your website or an external page whichever way you want but i'm not going to link it to any page for now i can also go to advanced settings at the moment the direction is set to vertical i can choose horizontal but with this kind of image you won't see the effect so i leave it as vertical you can also reverse the direction so that right, to scroll from bottom to top so if i hover on it you see that it's scrolling from bottom to top perfect i'll take it back Next is trigger. At the moment, the trigger is set to hover. So if I hover on it, the image will scroll. Now if I drop down the arrow and choose mount scroll, so from here I need to point on the image, do my scrolling before I actually see the scroll. I change it back to hover. And the speed at the moment is set to 3. Let me make it maybe 8. You see how slow it is. So I take it back to 3. You can also add icon. The size of the icon is 30. Let me make it 100 so that we see it clearly like this. So if I scroll and I move away, when it's scrolling down, you see the icon. Perfect. But I don't need the icon, so I remove it. You can also go ahead and apply some styles and the style. But I'm not going to go into styles. So I can go ahead and fill the rest of the boxes with images. So I can right click, copy, right click in here, paste, right click, paste. Then I can go ahead and switch the images by selecting any of them. Choose my image from here. I choose this, insert media, perfect. And I'll do the same thing right here. I'll choose this. Awesome. Now that that is done, I go ahead and update my page. Then I can take a look. Going down. Perfect. That's cool. Now we have seen vertical scroll. Let's go ahead and check out how horizontal scroll will look like. So I can exit from here. If I want, I can insert a new column. Or I can just go ahead and duplicate this one in order to move faster so what i do is i select this i choose image 
and this is the image I want to use. So with the horizontal scroll, the width of the image is longer than the height. I insert media. Next, I go over to settings and I change the direction. Oops, and I change the direction to horizontal. Perfect. Maybe this time around I need two columns. So I'll delete one of the columns like this. I'll change this to the image I want to use. And the advanced, I change it to horizontal. And this time around the trigger, I'll make it mouse scroll like this. So in order to scroll this, I need to use the scroll bar. Perfect. I update. Let's take a look. Perfect. So that's it on how to add image scroll in Elementor. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one.